Not If the Tales of Hired Gun is another documentary about the life of the Sidemen. This one aptly called Sidemen, Long Road to Glory. This movie documents the life and times of three bluesmen that most notably worked for Howlin' Wolf and Muddy Waters. These were guitarist Hubert Sumlin, pianist Joe Willie Pine Top Perkins, and drummer Willie Big Eyes Smith. <laughs> While Sidemen lacks some of the production value and polish of the aforementioned hired gun, the movie does a better job of giving you the feel of what it's really like to be a Sideman. One of the main themes of Hired Gun is that the musicians are part of the big spectacle, yet they're not the star. However, in trying to talk about how great they are at what they do, they portray those players as being bigger than life. Well, all of the musicians have their stories about being a regular guy, they're really just shown as the rock stars. Sidemen is able to sidestep this tonal conflict by showing the regular day-to-day -day life of the players and then bringing in prominent modern blues musicians to talk about the impact that Sumlin, Perkins, and Smith had on the world of blues and ultimately rock and roll. There is a great distinction between saying, he's the best guitar player you've never heard of, and saying, he's the best guitar player you've never heard of, but Jimi Hendrix has heard of him. Hendrix was very influenced by Hubert Sumlin. His sound and his looseness on the guitar. Another key element is that we get to see these musicians at the end of their life. We're given the long perspective and can look back at the entire arc of the story as opposed to just being caught in the middle of it. We're not just seeing the heyday. We're able to truly see these artists as working musicians that have to perform, tour, do sessions, and even sometimes make the hard choices to do something other than music in order to survive. The people said, hey, Pine Top, look like you ought to have a plenty of money. How you gonna have plenty of money and you're a side man? No way. He had no family, no friend, no band. He was too famous to be a side man too shy to be a leader. Sidemen has enjoyed a very small release in the art house theater circuit. Most likely if it was in a theater near you, it has already passed. I was lucky enough to catch it at Cinema Detroit. This was my first time at the small theater housed in a former furniture factory, and it was great. If you live in the Metro Detroit area, you owe it to yourself to catch a show there. But no matter where you are, as a musician, you should consider spaces like that similar to your favorite small music club a unique place worth supporting regularly. Anyway, go to the movie's website to check and see if it's coming somewhere near you, and if you have missed it, keep your eye on your favorite streaming site. I'm sure it'll be there shortly. Other than that, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's hit it. Ain't that a man?